Professor S. C. Shabalala, Professor M. R. Ngalo, Reverend Ivan Naidu, Dr. Tolima Katini, Dr. Mbongo Nzama, Nazareth Baptist Church, Nkosu Nkoki Ngawo of Amakati, and other Amakosi that are present. Mr. Ram Lachman and your family, MBC Ravi Bilay. On behalf of my people, I am delighted to send my message on the auspicious occasion being the graduation ceremony of Ishwar Ram Lachman Mapega Zulu. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I am unavailable to attend. The doctrine that people of exceptional leadership, intellectual and spiritual power are ahead of their time rings through for my beggar's life. Jenny, we are celebrating. Indeed, over the years, Mabega has become an additional member of our family whom I always refer to as a daughter Nayetu, our son. His commitment and promotion of social cohesion, leisure conservation and respect for everyone's cultural heritage and, re and religion has earned him our respect. When I adopted Ishwaram Lashman, I gave him a name of Mapega Zulu, the adoption of dedicated and diligent subjects in the Zulu Kingdom was always done by my predecessors. King Shaga, King Tejwayo, and King Tinizulu, to name a few. Other nations or countries have what they call foreign legions in which non-residents serve as soldiers. In Zulu, and indeed African culture, we do not have a separate chamber for foreigners. When we welcome them into our fold, we assimilate them into our families. I can cite the example of my forefather, King Tejwayo, who did not put John Dunn on the perif periphery because he was white. Instead, he made him an Induna. And it is on following the footsteps of such great kind of the Zulu people that I am Ishwa not a member of a foreign part, one of us. The name Mapega means the, the one who cares for my people. This was done after his heroic dedication and achievements in saving the poor of the poorest in the kingdom of the province of Guazulu Natal. It is important to recognize good, deed, good, good deeds while those who do them are still alive. It is therefore commendable that the National Congregational School of Theology, Los Angeles Development Institute, and the International Accreditation Organization is bestowing upon Ishwa Ramlachman Mapega Zulu, the Honorable Professor's degree in humanitarianism and community development. Honorable doctoral, do, doctoral degree in humanitarian and conflict resolution and honorary uh, master's degree in Christian religious studies. Mabega has become instrumental in, build, in rebuilding fractured lives of the poor.
poor, poorly served people. Through numerous food, clothing, libraries, community halls, wheelchair distribution programs, including the sponsorship of bursaries for underprivileged uh, under children. Mapega has made big difference in the lives of my people. In a country with a history of violence, it is commendable that Ram Rashman has erected many temples and churches to promote culture and belief in spirituality. He has built low-cost homes for destitute families, provided water and sanitation for needy communities. Although the gap between the affluence and the poor constantly widens in South Africa, Mapega Zulu, Ishwaram Lachman, has always risen to the challenge of raising quality of life. Lasting bonds between African and Indian communities in South Africa are crucial to a prosperous future, especially given that both communities suffered greatly because of apartheid. Through the erection of specially designed peace pillars and monuments to promote peace, our son has promoted, promoted non-violence and unity in diversity at various key points throughout South Africa. Social cohesion does not only hinge on social activities, but also on religious collaboration and awareness. Those who do not understand the value, the premium of religious and cultural synergy could not have forthumped a Diwali festival at the heart of the Zulu Kingdom. I am proud to say today that we have already held various successful Diwali, the festival of light celebrations every year at the royal palaces. This is a concrete way of bringing about social cohesion in South Africa and the unity between the Zulus and Indians. Bearing in mind that the majority of South African Indians live in the province of the Kingdom of KwaZulu Natal, Mapega has championed my call to a lasting peace among different communities by ensuring social cohesion is practical, demonstrated throughout his life's journey. The history of the struggle for freedom in South Africa is replete with stories of African and Indian collaboration. From the Gandhi Dube relationship through the Mandela Montenaika relationship, history was made when Ram Lachman became the first Indian to be adopted by the Zulu royal monarch and was appointed as a trustee of the Royal Household Trust. Mapega Zulu Ishwaram Lachman at such a young age has done so much in saving the poorest of the poor. Today we are filled with joy and pride to see Mapega continue to serve the people of South Africa. Ishwa Mapega has played a significant role in terms of strengthening business and cultural relations between the two countries. He has brought leading Indian musicians from India to South Africa, contributing 
to the development of arts and culture, Mapega Ishwa is a man with ties to his motherland, India, and a son of Khazru Natal. He has helped the African and Indian communities, both in South Africa and India, to share in each other's experiences and embrace each other, resulting in lasting friendships and relationships. Mapega have set an example for all young people in our country. I wish him continue with his exemplary leadership throughout his life's journey. Actually, he deserved to be honored. And I thank you for what you have done for him. God bless you all. Thank you.